Many greetings from Leeds. We'd like to thank Rabi for the hard work they've done to bring this conference into being and providing us with the opportunity of saying a few words to you. Before we tell you about ourselves, we'd like to say how disappointed we are that we cannot be with you, but wish you a very successful and enjoyable time over the next few days. In our book, we attempt to correct this assumption by putting learning before teaching. Often, mathematics, when set out in a curriculum, is viewed as a collection of unrelated knowledge and skills. An aim of our book is to dispel this notion by describing a practical approach to learning mathematics with many examples of maths problems which you and your children can investigate together. And it's important to realise that it is investigating together, not the children just investigating on their own. The book was also written with the intention of helping you develop your own self-esteem in teaching mathematics as well as to encourage you to consider your own teaching by analysing what you're teaching and the approaches you're using as well as what and how your children are learning when you teach them mathematics. It's important that this is a togetherness, you and your children, your children and you. We think it's a tragedy that many children leave school not having this enriching experience. In fact, to the contrary, they have an experience which they dislike and end up hating mathematics, as Anne's already ex explained to you. Too often children are not taught maths, but are instructed in what to do and how to do it. We approach it in a totally different way. There's no instruction. And what they do and how they do it is often their own choice. And this comes through investigating problems with you and without you. Seldom are children given the opportunity to collaborate with their classmates, find out and discover things for themselves, to think for themselves. They are capable of doing this if given the chance. Perhaps this is the only reason a few, few children choose to pursue mathematics to a high level. And we believe that more will do so if approached through the, what we describe to you in the book and that you are able to put it into practice for yourself and for your children. We believe that our book is unique in that it's about teachers creating a learning em environment in their classroom which results in children furthering the development of their capacity to think mathematically while still developing the necessary knowledge and skills to do maths and in doing so, enjoy learning mathematics. I'm inspired when teaching maths by the obvious pleasure and enjoyment the children get when investigating maths problems. You can see the joy in their faces in discovering something new and their desire to continue investigating even when the lesson has ended. Expressions such as do we have to stop, are commonly heard, as well as, can we do this again? Above all, enjoy the work, and you'll find some fascinating insights into your children as you listen into their conversation. With all our very best wishes for your future voyage in teaching mathematics, in whatever direction it takes you.